Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series as we crack on delivering these medium logs. Last time out, we were uh, delivering medium logs. We finished off Black River and we um, delivered to the foresters here on the, on the dam. And we have done Bart's house up in the hills. So we are we are we are finished here in in the dam but the last delivery of this job is going into island lake so that's where we're going we have to as you can see we've got to deliver three lots of medium logs into island lake and we will do two from two from here i'll just get my wing shell because i want to pull my land over through with me try not to tip it over this time Yeah, we'll take these two f through with us, and uh, Island Lake has uh, its own um, logging site where we can get some medium logs from, uh, so we'll grab a single from there to make that the three, and then we will hopefully be able to work out of Island Lake's um, logging yard to deliver to Drummond Island. That is the plan. Whether that's how it goes. Je ne sais pas, j'ai oublié, as they say in France. But we're gonna give it a crack. So, you know, we are actually getting close to completing Michigan. Can you believe it? We are getting close to completing Michigan. Um, I'm sure we've done all the timed delivery jobs here. We've done the timed delivery job in Island Lake. We did the hop across the river, beat the rain, or whatever it's called, before the rain. In Drummond, we did everything in Black River. I mustn't forget I've left my P16 here. We have taken all the fuel out of there. Probably should have got some more fuel out of the Land Rover before he stuck it behind me, but I might be able to get some as I'm going. Stuck on a dodgy camera angle. Shall I see if I can grab some? Oh, I can't. That's a shame. Can I get some now? Nope. <laughs> okay. Got it. Right. We may have to pull up alongside to make sure we can refuel. I do not want to run out in the swamp. That could be disastrous. We call it the swamp. It's the flooded forest, but it's like a swamp, isn't it? I don't know if I... Oh, yeah, I've left a trailer down there. That was, um... That was not good planning, was it? So that was completely normal. We don't have good planning here. That's why we're now towing a Land Rover full of fuel behind us. Because we didn't plan our fuel very well, so now we're just carting it everywhere. to turn nicely. Ah, oh, yes. Almost, almost like I kind of know what I'm doing. Almost. Right, and I think this seems like the best spot to bring that land over around. Just, just park in there, buddy. Make sure everyone is fueled nicely here. Oh, I run one. You feel so we're gonna win the landy, win the westy. Lovely.
when we have to descend to the quarry area, we'll obviously, we'll obviously separate. I am not going to pull these through together. And then we'll reconnect to uh, probably to get down through the swamp bit. I'll probably get all the way down to the bottom with the logs and then, uh, then bring the land over down. Might be the best way to, to uh, approach that. Man, I wish there was a camera, no camera collision mod like we have in Farm Sim. Just, just let us drift through the things rather than flicking us about. Please and thank you. But as always, thank you all for uh, coming. I say all, I don't know how many there are, how many of you there will be. But uh, thank you for coming back and following the series. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're as pleased as I am to uh, to have that feeling of we're <laughs> reaching the end of Michigan after all this time. It's been insane the amount of time we've spent here. I'm not sure. I, I'm sure in like episodes, I don't know, one of the top five episodes, first five episodes, I would have said how many episodes I hope to have this done in. Um, it was, actually, I think it was probably around about sixty. So we could we could be on for that. I think watch and Wessel do it. If you haven't uh, ever seen Wessel, go check out Wessel on Wheels. Um, but yeah, haven't watched Wessel's. Michigan. I think he did it in about 40, 45, 46. Which was good going. I mean, he's got got mad logistical skills. Really, really, really planned it out. Um, so yeah, I think look after watching him and then thinking about my planning, I probably said like 60, 75 episodes. 75 would have been way too many. I think we'd have to give up if we took 75 episodes to get here. Right. So. We'll just take the logs down. Just to be safe. I'm sure it would be alright, but things that have been fine to do over the last few years in normal mode have wreaked insane havoc for us here in hard mode. And they're not the things that should be making it harder. That's not what hard mode is. And um, no one's been able to find anything that says, oh yeah, on hard mode the physics are a little bit tweaked as well and things are a little bit more. It's it's just finances and fuel. Really. And, you know, the limited um, recovery and, and stuff like that. And the cost of it. But I feel like we have had some... some some physics issues along the way. Getting stuck places. I've got stuck places. I have never, ever been stuck and haven't again since. Because I have, as I always talk about, I have multiple playthroughs on the, on the go doing different things in different styles. And, but this is my only hard mode. Um, but, yeah, and I just do not get stuck as much or, or, or where I get stuck on this mode. This doesn't seem to happen. And sometimes I use like less powerful vehicles as well. I, the first I've said it many times before. The first real playthrough that I did of this, uh, with with a lot of progression, was done ninety nine percent. With the Fleet Star, not even the White Western. I didn't never use the uh, Pacific. It was always the the um, the Fleet Star. Fleet Star's, you know, still is one of my favourite vehicles. So that was what I always used. Tell you what, this Land Rover has had some miles put on it on this series. This has been an absolute god. I'm so pleased that I went with the option or went with the decision to add mod vehicles as an option. Uh, that was my way. I was hoping that was going to be my way of introducing a lot more variety of vehicles into the game. Not really 
cotton on to cottoning on to how strict things were going to be financially and how much I would in turn then have to worry about <laughs> the fuel and buying fuel and you know I've now succumbed to being a bit lazy with the logs and buying the logs to get put in automatically rather than a manual one but yeah so we haven't haven't been able to so what I wanted it to be more of a not of oh look we're going to use these naughty trucks I wanted it to be a showcase of some of the more realistic um, vehicles that there are Yeah, you know, maybe maybe not the the brands that everyone gets to see if you're if you play on console. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of vehicles come in with a generic name anyway. I mean, even some of the the base games, you know, their their brand is similar to what the real thing would be, and but the truck numbers are usually uh, the same as what this real life counterpart is. Yeah, that Land Rover's pretty much pushing me through here. That is going to run out of fuel. So yeah, this bit's, this is going to be fun, this bit. Heading off into the lake. It's a shame about that X. <laughs> that nice, uh, nice thumbnail there. Hopefully we can traverse through here reasonably, uh, reasonably quick. And again, a lot of it is down to not taking the obvious path. Like, you know, the road is over there. It's not hit the post. But this, this on this side, is shallower. And it's not been driven down as much. So you, you get better traction. Rather than that churned up bit. And again, at this point, I am just telling people, you know. Oh, suck eggs. But, you know, I, sh I share what little snow runner <laughs> wisdom and knowledge I have. Very little wisdom. But, you know, very little knowledge. For someone that's been playing for four years. Because I, did, I was thinking, oh, it'd be nice to do one of those, you know, top ten you know, off-road trucks. My top ten off-road trucks. My top ten or top five of, of whatever um, and then I realised I haven't even used like half of the vehicles in the game because I just I just don't I don't jump around and I don't pull in vehicles that aren't necessarily in a map and you know as I've covered greatly I don't I haven't jumped to any other maps I haven't I haven't played a single DLC map which is insane um, but I do know that there are other, there are others out there like me that are reluctant to push on to the they, they own them all they own them all reluctant reluctant to push on and play them if they haven't finished the first ones yet and uh, you know there are people within my community that have been playing you know just as long almost as long possibly even longer than me. Um, that haven't done everything and haven't been everywhere because they, they, they follow that same sort of rule with their gaming, I guess. A similar ethos of not, not, not trying to ruin it, not trying to make it too easy because there are plenty of tutorials on, you know, how to go and get the tiger straight away because the tiger the tiger I call it the tiger the tiger 
straight away from time here. It takes no time at all. Um, and it is a bit of a beast truck, especially if you were to go and get the Tager and then bring it to um, Michigan or state into Alaska. I mean, you could even jump to Alaska and go and get the, uh, the Royal BM and bring it here, and it would be a better truck than probably all bar the White Western, maybe? It may even, yeah, probably. And uh, it's just too easy. You know, there's, there's how to get the, uh, is it the, uh, the Kenworth 900? Which is an absolute monster of a truck. I know it's a monster of a truck. And because uh, I've seen the tutorials on on how to go and get it, how to get it within like the first two hours of gameplay, like from booting up the game, how you'll get it, where it jumped to the map, what things you need to do, what jobs to do, in what order, and you'll you'll have you know largely considered one of the best trucks in the game. Not sure when I get into Island Lake what fuel I've got left scattered about. I think I've still got some trailers along the trail because we pulled the the big fuel tank. I think we've pulled that through, haven't we? I think it's just parked over there somewhere. I thought I was going to be needing to pull fuel out of that and bring that across everywhere else. But we haven't needed to. Which is good. Or have I not pulled it through? Perhaps I just pulled through the small fuel trailer. We'll see, we'll see. There's a fuel trailer somewhere. There it is. Hiding behind the trees it was. Now I did say that this uh, this journey was going to take up a large chunk of the episodes, but we, I tell you what, we got through it a little bit quicker than I thought we would. Probably about 15 minutes, I think, to get here. Might sound a long time, but that's not bad. Right, so we are refueling again. But there's not going to be a great deal in there when we get there. Um, can we? Not from there I can't, but if I... This time I slipped in there. <laughs> oh dear. Well, as long as we've got enough to finish the map, I guess. That's what's important. Oh dear. I'm pretty sure when my mate Wessel uh, finished here, he had. <laughs> two large trailers worth, or at least one large trailers worth, uh, two or three <laughs> regular fuel trailers worth. I'm going to be lucky if I've got enough to fill uh, two 1800 litre trailers. I really am. Not sure if I, I don't think I really need to bring you any 
further because so I'll drop these. I'll show you where we're going to go. I'm going to drop them there. And then I need to go up to pick up some more there. Then we'll come back down again. So yeah, I am going to leave. You there. You can stay there. Oh, let's have a look. So, fuel trailer. What we got? We've just got a s no fuel there. No fuel there. And no fuel along the trail. <laughs> dear, dear. Oh dear. Have I seriously used up all that fuel? Oh good lordy. That's crazy. And in Drummond I have flatbed scale, sideboard bed, sideboard trailer, an empty fuel carrier, and the large fuel trailer. And that's it. That is it. Wow. Scary. Scary. Think about this. <laughs> Where did all the fuel go? And there's nowhere to buy fuel here. This was all trailers. It's all churned up, isn't it? It's still a bit churned up. That dip. Don't like that dip. It's such a deep one. It's crazy. Didn't go wide enough to start with, so we'll have to crack that. There we go. like it when we struggle so early on in the job. Okay, so if we drop first two off and then go into the taxi the trailer. So I'll we'll cut that about with me everywhere. So if we can turn around quickly without smacking ourselves about because we only need a single. So then once we've got the single we can uh, grab that again and then head back out. It's still point in dragging that around unnecessarily at the minute. We will have to take it back up to that log point, but I'm going to do it this way for now. And I think I'll pull the Land Rover up to the logging station with me on this run. And so we've not got the trailer with me. That'll be easier. And then we can have that there. That'll be our plan.
there's no real quick way through, so it is, yeah, I have to go up and down. That's why this one's the annoying one, because it's, you know, three. Oh, come on. And we're not dragging it, it's going to be powering itself. It's just going to be following. That's something that's going to be good with uh, roadcraft. The autonomous trucks being able to, not autonomous trucks, but you know, being able to um, work the logistics as well. So being able to send vehicles to certain locations. That looks so cool. Plot them the route and that's the route they, they take. As I said before, it's a completely, completely different game. Vehicles are running from the same same engine, but the actual game itself is running from the uh, Space Marine 2 engine, which is going to allow for a lot more uh, detail and power for terrain terrain editing and um, destruction and construction. I am excited for it. So I really, really, really want to crack on, really, really push with the snow runner. It's just that I'm starting to pull my finger out of my ass with it. It's just as FS25 is going to be, be upon us in about a month or two, and or a month or so. Well, when this comes out, it'll probably only be about four weeks away. And. You know, as I've said before, we are not a dedicated soul, clearly, FS channel, but FS is the most popular content on the channel at the moment, so we will have to dedicate some time to that. Plus, I want to see it. I want to play it. Um, I'm looking forward to 25, I think, now, more than I was looking to 22. I cannot lie. The improvements are looking good, the extra crops are looking good, I'm you know, dubious about the tornado, but hopefully that's a second week turn, I think they've already said it's a second week turn on and off. I just, I'd like to have known more about other weather effects on crops and environment, other than tornadoes, but this is still runner, so let's not, let's not delve on the farming too much, let's just enjoy this. So I do love this game. When it's not stressing me out, it is such a chill game. Such chill vibes. As the youth would say, it slaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that rattled my chest. I do apologize about that. Go I am still full of god awfulness. Weather has been brought home from school this week. So I do apologise. But any coughing, sniffling, snuffling, and rattling. This old man, it's, it's not well. But we crack on. There, then, take the most coins. Let's back up. We have a little tip or more because we might not have enough to get there and back again. If you come out of the scalp trailer. Honestly, I would have been screwed this series without 
about that Land Rover. An absolute godsend for sure. Let's have a little chilled in cab. We don't do a lot of in cab, but you know, quietly confident on this route. Now vocally confident. So watch me roll.
Right, the relaxing part is over, so uh, we'll come out of for this bit. Uh, don't like it when we get any tilt here. It's just, it's just not nice. Look how narrow that that bit is now. And then the, the rut that we've put in on the right hand side, that's not nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I made that sound. There we go. It's real to me, damn it. It's not just a game, this is a question. <laughs> a question of my complete game and ability. It's, just, it's a game that sums up my manliness. <laughs> Can you log, bro? I think this one's about another 22 grand, this job. I think it's somewhere in that region. 17. Not quite as much. Not quite as much. Um, 1,850 on the XP. We haven't done like an XP coverage for a while. But that's, that's where we're at on that. So, all that's left. Yeah, all the tasks are here done. All that is left is aid to the army. We haven't even activated this yet. Debate. Um, so that will be two deliveries to three, or two, yeah, two deliveries to three locations. Because we can do the farm in a single run, and then we'll do the the lighthouse keeper and the workers, the workers house in one run. So that's what we're going to do, and that is. Oh, so all that is, oh, I thought that was more than that. It's only 11,300. That's not great. That's not great. I thought we were getting more for it. Where are we at? So we'll be at 160, 170,000. 97%. I'm sure that's... Should we not be more than 97%? Sorry, I'm now concerned we've not done jobs. I haven't done heavy burden on... Oh. Okay. Oh, how have I not? There you go. I forgot about the challenges on Black River as well, didn't I? Well, when we do them, uh, maybe I was saving them for the end. I don't know. Maybe I didn't forget. I forget what I say. That's more more than forgetting the jobs. I forget what I say I'm going to do. We might have been saving them so I could just uh, have a little session of rinse and repeat and build our cash up. Because we can do them five times. Uh, the new nest one, uh, that's, that's quite a lengthy one. Probably wouldn't do that five times, but... The parts to the farm is pretty easy. I'm surprised we haven't done that. And we, we could do we can do that with the fleet star. So I mean, we haven't got to do a lot of changing. It will be easier to do it with the white western, but we'll 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 see. We'll see. Oh dear, I thought we were done, and we've not got a lot of fuel. I thought we were done. Anyway, let's not worry about that. Let's concentrate on these logs. Focus in the job at hand. Should be able to go on automatic here, actually. Speed up a little bit.
I think as a driver, our driver should be a little bit more willing to just jam it in a low gear and allow the revs to go, just, just stay consistent. Even in automatic, there's no need for that many gear changes all the time. No need! Do a little plus with a diff. Come on, let's get, let's get through here. I'm not sure if we'll get the other or the first two deliveries done. I want to go, I want to do the lighthouse and then the farm first. I do want to do it in that order. No, yeah, build the lighthouse and the worker house first. And then um, we'll do the farm as a final drop off. Because then we can leave. The log trailer at the farm, I don't need it anymore. We can keep that. Um, I think it was a free one, so we'll probably just delete it straight off. Whether it's a free one or not, it don't matter. We can't, can't use it again, can we? Annoyingly. Can't sell it. it upsets me so much so that I can't sell my trailers. And it just, you know, just leave them lying around. I don't, I don't like that. Don't. Deleting them just seems so wasteful. But if not, there's just an abundance of stuff out on the map that we don't need. out of time. I don't think we're going to make it into uh, Drummond with the first load. We'll get as close as we can. But I don't think we're going to get over there. It just goes to show how much slower the terrain is um, in Ireland Lake with how how little we can do when we when, once we've arrived here. Compared to, you know, the amount of jobs we got done last episode, just two, yeah, two deliveries in Black River, two deliveries in in the dam. This episode, we've travelled, you know, from the dam into Island Lake, and then that's, you know, that delivery and a delivery back. Across sort of the same spot, and uh, time is nearly gone. And something that's completely irrelevant to the game. I have suddenly, suddenly I've just become really hungry. It's weird. It's weird. Right. So our mediums, our mediums. Am I going to be able to get far enough? Mm. 
we have to try. We have to try. Get, got to try and get as far as we can um, without taking that the fuel truck with us. There is a route that way, which I don't think I'll take. I'm going to go kind of the long way. Self-defeated when, you know, time is a thing, but I'll just not risk getting stuck if we can have a more open route. He wanted to switch up the gears and rub a bit, but it's, oh, it's not really worth it. So I'm just going to have to change it again. Be patient, be patient, Mr. Parkbar. If I start to try and rush myself, I will make mistakes. fuel as well. I'm glad I hadn't pulled the uh, the fuel trailer out of Drummond chair as well because I thought about doing that, didn't I? I said I might pull that out and park at the other end, like at the, at the, the other side of the gateway for no, for no logical reason other than I, I felt like I needed to be moving fuel about.
this is a little bit better terrain. We want to be able to get some speed here. Just like to get as far through as I can. More so that then in <laughs> in hopes that we'll have the time to get both deliveries done next episode. But because we've got a for this delivery, we've got to get to like the centre of Drummond and then right across almost it's the first building that you come in when you enter from from the dam. So it's you know quite a trek through and then to get back and then all the way back through Island Lake and then back out and all the way through again to the farm which is which is sort of the building area where you go to when you do the beat the rain challenge so it's like to the far um, east of the map on the right hand side So whether I'd be able to do that all in in one episode, I don't know. I really don't know. I'll try and get there first. Oh, we knew that was going to happen, didn't we? Come on, you bloody tree. Get my way. There's another one there. Deathly, deathly trees. <laughs> Come on. Sun stands. Come up, mate. Let's get going. Yeah, I honestly thought I still had a fuel trailer parked up this end. Um, that must be the one that I've pulled through into Drummond that's now empty. Mad, 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 madness. That's just that one. No little fuel trailer anywhere. It's just, they're just gone, aren't they? 
go. Just still can't believe that I've not got any. don't think I'm going to be able to do this delivery and get back again. We're going to park at the entrance and annoyingly I'm going to have to go back and get what's the time? 6. I'm going to have to get Land Rover because we're not going to have enough fuel. It's not going to have it. Um not going to take trailer though, so hopefully we can get there as quick as we can let's go, 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 we've got like five minutes, let's go see how close we can get That way quicker for me on this run. Nope. I think it is. Yeah, again, it's it's amazing how like one one episode can be super or feel super productive and progressive and I just feel like we've done nothing in this one apart from just well drive really slowly in the mud <laughs> which is you know the name of the game but it's not a snow runner but you know in the vein of the mud running and the spin tires classic we are just spinning tires Come on. Oh, well, uh, keep going. I think it's just because in my head I can feel that we are getting so close to the end, even with the revelation that I've uh, still got some time jobbies to do. It's so close. Right, I think we park up here. We shouldn't sink, we should be alright. No, we sink a little bit. But that is going to be it for this one. Yeah, it's just, yeah, in comparison to the progression of the last episode, I feel like this one was slow, but that's how it is sometimes. Sometimes we are just moving stuff about. But next time, if it goes well, we could get both of those deliveries done. If it goes well, it's all about fuel management, really. And having to pull that, that about all the time isn't really ideal, but we have to do what we have to do. I might leave the Land Rover at the gateway and the fuel tank at the, at the login station. And then we'll just have that as two two pickup points of fuel as I come back as well, and then go back out again, and then we'll we'll sort out after during the tidy up. But anyway, that has that's been it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.